Friday morning to you. My capacitors came in from Sal's Capacitor Corner uh, this morning. I don't have the list in front of me as to what I ordered originally, but I know I ordered O22s, and I'm pretty sure I only ordered 10. And it looks to me like there's over 20 here. O22s was a common ones to use in the radios I'm working on. I also ordered 22 microfarad at 160 volts. I remember ordering those. Uh, 015s, I ordered 10 of those. I remember that. Uh, I also ordered 047s at 630 of this type of capacitor because um, they would fit in the radio better. Point ones, I was low on those, so I ordered 10 of those. Uh, already looked at those. Uh, 047s again just to have them on hand. O1s. I was getting a little low. I ordered those. Uh, the safety cap, the X2 that goes across the line. Unfortunately, I he don't stock, and I don't think they make 047 Y2 caps. Because from what people tell me, the X2s are designed to short, which I find hard to believe because that's a hazard. That's a hazard to have them short. They should open. But that's all I could get um, in 047s because these radios that I've been working on use a lot of 047s for the line bypass cap. Um, and then I ordered some 022s in these small type of caps which fit a lot better in the radio because of the slow shipping uh, Sal had said that he's going to send me some floor sweepings and he even sent me a photo of the floor sweepings so I don't know if that's upside down or not. Probably is. Okay, it's 22 at 450. That I took out of the bag of the floor sweepings. That is too much reflection. I can't even read that. So let's assume that it's upside down. I cannot see that. So in the floor sweepings, there's a lot of caps here. Don't know what values, but he gave them to me as a bonus. So. And they are dirty, so they were on the floor. <laughs> but they're new. Uh, so I can't complain about that. 22 at 450. I have those. I Damn bench. Everything's so unlevel here. It wasn't that way when I built this place. Another 22 at 450. Resistors I can always use. I don't want to... Oh man, this is a dirty one. <laughs> but he did say there was floor sweepings that he threw in as a bonus. Oh, I, I appreciate it. Everything's, this damn bench aggravates me. Everything rolls out on the floor. Hmm. I'm sorry, I reading glasses just don't cut it. Uh, here is um, a 0.47 at 
at 630? That's pretty large. I'll have to measure that because it says 0.476K. This was also in the uh, mix. My eyes just don't want, I can't see anything on that one. Get it on the camera here would help. Looks like 6.8 microfarads. Uh, let's see. 10 microfarad at 450 volts. Well, I, I could use that, I guess, but... So a lot of resistors, uh, I, I'd have to get my cheat. Uh, wheel out in order to read some of the resistor codes I can remember. But anyways, uh, he threw these two bags of floor sweepings in here, which is very nice of him, and I appreciate that. And this was also in there. Here's a 47 at 160, but that's the same size as I've got now. I don't think two of these are going to fit in here. I don't know. The ones I've got are a little smaller. This is 160 volts, but it's a little bit too large. But it will get used in other things. Not a problem, and I sure do appreciate it. So Sal is a heck of a nice guy. 22 microfarad, 450. Uh, this radio don't use that. It uses 40, 40, and 250. Um, as you will see here. This is the container I want to restuff. So I've got... I've got two 47s, but I can put these two in there. That's not a problem. And then I'll have room to get the 330 in there because I don't have a 250 microfarad. And I think it's a 35 volt cap, so that's okay. So there's only three electrolytics in this radio. So the 40s are going to be replaced with a 47 at 160 volts. Originally it was 150. Because today's line voltage you need to be 160. And um, the 200 microfarad is going to have a 330. And I got those all put away on that. So that's great. You know, I sure do appreciate this. So I'll tell you, you may have to wait a while for Sal because he's a one-man show, but he takes care of you. He's always done well by me. And we're not going to pull out all these caps here. And he didn't lie. They are four sweepings, but I'm sure they're good. You know, uh... I'm sure they're good, uh, uh, you know, and I didn't order any resistors, so I thought that was quite nice of them to ship those. And as you say, this is a little larger, but that's all right. Okay, I did want to make this video. Um, I'm using the JVC, and... Um, I have two JVCs, and uh, I figured I'd grab this because I've got video clips on the other JVC, the Model 100. I can't remember the prefix. And the audio on this camera here, uh, the gain is up all the way, so it gets distorted. And i got to remember to keep my voice down because it's very hard. I had some comments about my videos being, uh, the audio is not being too good on this camera. Um, but that's just the way it is. Okay, um, so.
So, yes, I would definitely recommend Sal's Capacitor Corner. I've been dealing with them for a few years now since I had my shop. So I'm going to take and throw all these resistors up in today's mixed resistors over here. If they'll fit. And the capacitors, I'll go through these later. I Up in my drawers, I don't have room enough to put some of these in. Uh, but I wanted to buy extras on hand, so I'll have to probably just have a box and just put these in loose in the bags, of course. And these will just go loose into the um, box over here that I showed you. These here came in the bag of floor sweepings, and I think that was very nice of them to do that. So, as I showed here, these will work fine. I, I'm going to check them, of course. But other than being on the floor, and they are floor sweeping, so I have no problem with that whatsoever. So, I highly recommend Sal's Capacitor Corner. Highly recommend them. And on the back of every card... is the codes of the caps and I have to refer to this quite a bit because when you get a capacitor and of course I don't have my reading glasses on and I don't know where they are oh I get so mad because I never put the damn things on when you get a capacitor that has 224J sometimes it's a 224J or a K uh, and so a 224J, I'd have to refer to this chart. There's a 223. Hmm. Well, I got to get my magnifier out. 224. Okay, that's a point. That's a point two two. So it's very handy. He supplies this with every capacitor order. So I'm very happy with Sal's. Yes, I had to wait. Uh, March 28th, I put the order in. But as I said, uh, how, uh, Sal has some health issues. And he's a one-man show, so... <laughs> You know, uh, he has other things I'm sure he's dealing with. So, I've got enough capacitors to uh, outlast me. So, off camera, I'm going to put this stuff away. And I can stuff this cap. I just got to make something up for the ends after I get the caps in because I am not going to try to stuff it in here. This is the original can that was inside and I don't think there's any information on that. I just simply cut the wires off and I'll simply put the caps in here Maybe put some heat shrink around all three of them that's going in here and have either the leads coming out one end or the negative coming out just one end and the positives coming out the opposite end. It don't matter. However, whatever way it'll fit back in there. And then hot glue the ends shut and I got to make a round piece of cardboard with a hole in it to get the wires to come out to simulate end caps. I'll do that all off camera. I'm not one to normally stuff caps. So I just wanted to make this video and uh, I wished I had ordered these type of caps originally for these radios because they're physically smaller. 022s, which the radio uses a lot of, 
and they're a lot smaller than these here. Um, I looked up the list. I did not order this many. He enclosed extra. Okay, he's done this before, so I really, really appreciate that, and all kinds of caps. There's even a, uh, it looks like a resistor or something in there, I can't tell, or MOV or something, I'm not sure, but anyways, not a problem, it looks like electrolytic is sitting in there too. So I wanted to just make this video to let you know that um, you guys need any caps out there. If you don't mind waiting a little bit, you will get your caps. And a lot of times, I'm not saying he always will, but a lot of times he will enclose extra caps if the wait is a little longer than it should be. All right, that's it, folks. Talk to you later. Take care, everybody.